Hendrik Otto and his team have been preparing for a good three weeks. They've been putting the finishing touches on the exclusive dinner hosted by the German president at the German press ball. This beetroot salad is an amuse girl from the chef. I think it needs to be spiced up a bit, but it's wonderful, fresh, elegant. The concentration in the kitchen is intense. All the courses are prepared simultaneously. For the dessert, stewed apricots with white chocolate, pineapple, tarragon cream and milk skin. It's really great. The apricot, the estragon, the herbs, the white chocolate, milk. It's perfect, awesome, very nice. Fifteen taste testers are on hand to try the sample meal. At least 300 prominent palates will have to be pleased at the ball, so in spite of his two Michelin stars, Hendrik Otto isn't taking any risks. I'd rather play it safe and stick to classic dishes, so more guests will be happy. This is just the opposite of what we do in the restaurant. Typical of Otto's cooking style are some basics from home cooking. He garnishes the eggplant lasagna with puffed buckwheat. Otto consulted a colleague to find out the German president's tastes. He told me the president likes fish with fried potatoes a lot. This, of course, is a challenge, but we integrated it into our dinner. This is my interpretation of fried potatoes. And we had actually planned for cod. But the organizer requested meat, so we decided to do braised beef instead. Hendrik grew up on a farm in eastern Germany. He learned how to cook from some of the country's top chefs. He earned his first Michelin star at the age of 28. He's been cooking at the Lorenz Adlon Esszimmer since 2010. The restaurant itself also has two Michelin stars, and it's shortlisted for a third. That would make it Berlin's first three-star restaurant. Michelin will be announcing its verdict on December the 1st. Everyone in Berlin is in suspense. Every chef with two stars or even one or none is motivated to work for the accolade, and they're all on edge. Anyone who isn't nervous must be in the wrong profession. Hendrik likes to compare cooking with driving Formula One races. He's always pushing the limits. He's cooked for many VIPs, but the tension never subsides. You've thought of everything and then something happens. So I'm always on edge. That's part of it. Every evening when the restaurant opens, you think, what'll happen today? What kind of patrons are coming? The taste testers have arrived. Among them, leading partners and sponsors of the German press ball. Even the sample meal is a tradition. It allows the organizers to fine tune the last details. There have been some fantastic ideas from past years. And then at the rehearsal dinner, we can't even see each other. So we have to make slight changes to the decorations or the colors of the flowers have to be a shade different. You might say we'll be dotting the eyes this evening. The cooks are putting the finishing touches on the first course, the cream of celery soup. Hendrik Otto is satisfied with the result. Of course, we can't make everybody happy, but we try, and we hope we've done a good job of it. Last year, I was really pleased, and we got very good feedback. I hope very much that we'll pull it off again this year. The rehearsal dinner is over. Now it has to pass muster with the VIPs at the German press ball.